If you want to create text by typing, select the Type tool. There are the Type tools. Select one and it opens a Type tool dialog box. Text created with the Type tool appears on its own layer. You can change this after it is written. The options within the dialog box lets you choose one of the available fonts and set the size, leading, alignment, tracking, and other attributes. Click on the color box within the Type Tool dialog box to open Photoshop's color picker and set the foreground color. I choose red. Then I have to choose the Type Tool, T, or the Vertical Type Tool, T. Now I double click on the image I want to type to appear. I can replace it easily later. I check the preview box so I can see the type in its assigned color and size on the page. I write photo in the text field and press enter to start a new line. You can zoom in or out on the text field by clicking the buttons or you can return to 100% sized image. Check fit in the window box to fit all your text in the field. Grab the right corner to resize the box. Use the drop-down menu to select a font. I will use Verdana and make it bold, italic looking. Then I set my pixel size to this. OK. I will also set the leading value. This will work. I set the alignment to the center. After you enter the words and choose all settings, you must click OK or press Return to position the type. It creates a new layer. You can see that the name of the new layer appears as a part of the text. You can return to the text by clicking on its layer. For its final use, you have to render your text by selecting Layer Type Render Layer. After rendering, you cannot change it again. The new version of Photoshop offers us a new drop shadow tool the Glow, Bevel, and Emboss tools you can find on the Layer Effects submenu. Try it. Let's create a cool drop shadow. Open a new Photoshop document with a white background. Then, select the Type tool and enter Business. Open the Layer Effects drop shadow dialog box, or use the keyboard shortcut Control-1. Check the preview box so you can see your work as you create it. Set mode to either Normal, Multiply, or Darken. If you do not select a mode, you will not see an effect. Open the color picker. Set the opacity and shadow angle as desired. Now I can make my distance and blur settings. Click OK to your drop shadow. You can change all of it before you render your creation. Another cool creation is to fill the type with an image using the paste into command. Let's try it. First we create a type layer. Use pixel. Now activate the layer in another document to fill it up. Create a selection, then copy this. Activate the image with the type layer name. And now go to edit menu, paste into. That creates a new layer with a layer mask. The bottom layer is the first created layer. The top layer got the paste into command. If you want to fill the type now, use the layer mask. Try it. 